Functional training is movement training. Functional training is about three aspects: acceleration, deceleration, and stabilization. It's free, na? See, the cables give you the freedom of movement, and that's what functional training is all about. Cables means I can go in any direction. I can go left. I can go right. I can go downwards. I can go upward. And it's that freedom of movement that gives you athleticism. Unlike machines, which have a fixed range of movement, I shut. I can do a rare peg fly. Imagine a situation where you are under a huge boulder, unnatural movement or twisting your body 360 degrees. All that is not possible. I got to use my core and shoulders and push. Crunch to press and crunch to punch. I'm lying down on the ball. Body is in one line always. Neutral grip always. From neutral grip, I push my core up and then ha! See my base of support is only my two legs. I'm on it since birth. So I got to learn how to balance, and I got to push, use my lower body and my core and my shoulders. This is a functional movement in circumstance. This looks like a movement which has got a lot of jerk and momentum, but it's a natural movement. Trampoline works on the gravitational force principle. If you accelerate vertically like in a rocket ship or on a trampoline you develop a greater g force however something fascinating happens when you start moving up and down and you no longer weigh the same your weight multiplies 2 and a half times greater g force acts on every cell of your body strengthening the cell wall making trampoline as the best immunity builder trampolinist have unexplainable strength because the entire body has adjusted to a greater g force environment therefore trampoline increases the capacity of breathing circulates more oxygen to the tissues normalizes blood pressure and improves coordination jammer is a functional bench press how you would normally push a heavy car or a heavy object stand in one line with your knees slightly bent so that the body works as one unit you have a good pushing strength good pulling strength you have a well rounded fitness regime you lift heavy weights you build so much of power then learn how to generate it horse power is the measure of power even equipments have horse power learn how to fire your core how to move if i got to push some human being my friend who's a typical bodybuilder He tried pushing someone and he dislocated his shoulders. Why? Because he's not used to that movement. He's used to bench pressing, lying down and pushing 200 pounds. He's not used to standing and pushing somebody. This is a similar pressing movement just like a jammer. The difference is that you're twisting. This movement is circular, just like a lathi. Imagine a lathi, a stick, kind of stick you got to hit somebody. Every time you're walking, Every time you are running remember you are on one leg not both the legs ask a person who does 500 pounds of leg press to do one rep of free hand squats just to do one leg squat and come back your mind has to kind of send messages that nikhil you are going to fall you are going to fall so like you know balance 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 and pull you know balance 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 go down and pull you are in squat position over here your core is unsupported so the leg muscles are working they are not sleeping you are lifting the weight what your lower back can lift also what your quads can take and what your lats can pull knee slightly bent now i kind of row and just step back this is level 2 so you are learning how to use a little bit momentum pulling and also moving my legs and my upper body are coordinated Now this is level 3 where I do a jump lunge to row. You start off seated then you go functional. You are on one leg kind of squat and then come up and row. One leg squat, row. One leg squat, row. Deceleration and slow form training gives you muscle control. This kind of training gives you balance which is very essential and balance is required in most of the sports. Then do a push up with leg tucks tuck your leg in push up tuck your leg in push up tuck your leg in push up 
pushing and twisting your body both sides my right is going left my left is going right and i have to look on the side it's twisting kicking and being on your toes so imagine the balance the criss cross coordination and the ability to twist so we call it as neuromuscular patterns means the more patterns i develop the more exercises i'm capable of doing basketball player needs to improve his flight techniques he got to fly high he got to move he got to dribble the ball now what is a jump pull up look upwards towards the bar again i'm in a squat position looking up towards the bar and i got to spring up and again pull and again land very important for basketball players they got to go high and dunk very good for rock climbers they need that propelling action you know you got to push with your leg while you're rock climbing and pull with your hands and you're always on your threes as i push with my legs i propel and pull with my hands so pushing legs and pulling hands that's what a rock climber does i call it as a rocket pull up alternate collateral toe touch knees bent slightly this hand is hammer grip we call it as a neutral grip your muscles don't get strained basically this is the best exercise for neuromuscular abilities it's a criss cross movement now my right hand has got to punch and my left leg is going to touch over there i'm punching and i'm criss crossing so your mind muscle link has to be so good <laughs> So in simple words functional training gives you the ability to choose your kind of fitness. So let's get functional with Dr Nikhil's Fit to Function. For further details on functional training courses you can contact Dr Nikhil on 9920552250 or simply log on to fittofunction.in.